97.5% of men love these types of women. Are you one of them? <laughs> All right, let me tell you the story. So I was in my 20s and I, st I was living in New York and I started dating a Buffalo Bills cheerleader that obviously lived in Buffalo, New York. If you don't know, that is a six hour drive or a hour plus flight. So in case you're wondering, yes, I liked her so much that I drove my butt the six or seven hour drive and did the flight. And sometimes I flew her down here and I paid for it. That's how much I was into her. Now, men love these types of women. Let me tell you what she did that got me crazy about her. So she was trying to entice me. You know, I was a tough catch. Like I was in my 20s young 20s, I was good looking, had a good job, like had the world was my oyster, like why am I gonna go six, seven hours away? So what she did was she made it so fun I'd have to go. Um, so what she specifically did, she's like, get your friends in the car, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put you front row at the, the Buffalo um, Bills versus the Jets, I'm a Jets fan, I know it stinks. Jets fan, I'm going to put you front row in the cheerleader section. We'll get you the game, and then we're going to go out at night. We're going to put a bunch of cheerleaders in a stretch limo. We're going to go to the bars and the clubs back in my 20s, so bars and clubs. Yes, fun. Don't do that anymore. And I'm like, all right, giddy up. And she knew that I really, you know, my friends were my family, and they still are. So we go to the game. It's amazing. I get an autograph pictured from her and her cheerleader friends. Then we go in the limo. And we're having an amazing time. And I will never forget, we get a photo, and uh, she was my girlfriend at the time, of every cheerleader was making out with one of my friends in this limo. And everyone was having an amazing time. And the reason I'm telling you this story, and what reminds me of this woman, is that she is a fun amplifier. And I always talk about we want a woman and men want a woman that is fun. But I want all of you to start brainstorming. And obviously this is, you're not going to take someone to the club and get a limo, right? You know, that was, that was awesome. But like a lot of you are, are past those days. They're not going to do that. But how are you going to amplify the fun? Because that's what men are looking for, right? Like think about your ideal man. Let's get, in the, get into his brain. The guy has a good job. He's probably working a good amount of hours. Maybe has kids, responsibility. You know, he's got his act together. He's done everything. He's traveled. And now he's just busy and he's got stuff. He's moving kids to all their events. And so all he wants from the lady he dates is someone to have fun with ultimately. So you can either be suck out the fun, which is like a person that nags and is like, ugh. Like, it's Friday night and you're not taking me on a date? Or you're the one who's like, oh, Mike, like, I found this amazing rock climbing. It's going to be awesome. Or, you know, anything. Like, Mike, I know you're in soccer, like, love soccer. Like, Manchester United's coming in two months to the, why don't we go there? So fun amplifier. And, like, asking your man what he loves to do. And then, and then getting involved. Now, of course, you don't want to take the mask and roll away and just be planning all the dates, right? But here and there, like the fun amplifier, like if you tell him something cool, you know, he's going to love that. Like if you're like, hey, come over, I'm wearing lingerie, he's not going to be like, oh, she was so masculine and, you know, she asked me to have sex with her. Like it was terrible. No, he's going to be like, my chick is so awesome. Right? <sighs> All right, guys. We're going to do a free gift for you. Sam, run the thing. Hook him up with a free gift. And I love all of you. Let me know if this was helpful in the comments. Uh, just give me a quick yes, it was helpful. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would love a number of how helpful this was. 10 being the most helpful and zero being Mike, find a new job, <laughs> and everything's welcome, I'll take it. 
and I love all of you. See you next time. More videos there and there.